वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डूइंग कम्युनिकेशन कॉम्बिनेशन दिस इज द टॉपिक व्हिच नॉट ओनली नॉन इंजीनियर बट आल्सो इंजीनियर आर स्केयर्ड ऑफ द रीजन इज नॉट दैट इट इज टफ बट देन द रीजन इज द फोबिया व्हिच पीपल हैव मेड ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई विल शो यू हाउ इजी दिस चैप्टर इज एंड आई एम श्योर यू विल हैव फन लर्निंग दिस चैप्टर कम्युनिकेशन कॉम्बिनेशन there are two basic principles in this chapter one is fundamental principle of multiplication another is fundamental principle of addition let's talk of each one by one fundamental principle of multiplication says if one job can be done in m ways another can be done in n ways then both together or one after the other can be done in m into n ways mind it i said both together or one after the other in m to n ways let's take a simple example let us say you have to buy a maruti 800 and the company in order to make maruti 800 has to make three things and this which can be done in three ways cases which can be done in four ways and tires which can be done in five ways then in how many ways the car will be made i am sure all of you now know the answer and the answer is 3 into 4 into 5 that is 60 ways and that's why right. let's understand one thing how 60 ways say company has used e1 first method of making engine corresponding to that they can use c1 c2 c3 c4 any of the four methods of making cases similarly corresponding to second way of making engine there are four ways of making cases and similarly four ways for third way of making engine that makes all in all 12 ways of making engine and cases corresponding to each of these 12 ways there exist five ways of making tires so 12 into 5 60 is the total number of ways in which a car can be manufactured important to note here is whether engine cases tires are made one after the other or they are made simultaneously does not affect the number of ways in which a car can be manufactured and in that case we are doing what multiplying the number of ways of doing each of the three things that is engine cases tire in order to find out the total number of ways of doing what maruti that is manufacturing work. so fundamental principle of multiplication says if there are several sub jobs which can be done in m n p q r ways respectively then total number of ways of doing the overall job will be m into m into p into q into r and so on Now let's take more examples to understand this. Say the question is: So the question is, there are four friends. They want to stay. There are ten hotels available. In how many days can they stay? Think over it. First friend can stay in how many days? Ten days. Second friend can stay in how many days? Again, ten days. There is no restriction as to he can stay in the hotel in which already one friend has stayed, or he cannot. Therefore, total number of days is ten into ten, that is hundred. Now let us see how hundred is. Say first friend has stayed in H one, hotel one. Second can stay in H one, H two, H three, and so on up to H ten, any of the ten days. Similarly, corresponding to second day. Of a stay, uh, corresponding to first staying in hotel two, there will be ten ways in which second can stay. Again, ten ways. Similarly, for H three, H one to H ten, ten ways, and so on. For H ten, in which first one is staying, H one to H ten, ten ways of B second one to stay. So all in all, ten ways, ten times makes hundred ways. Third friend similarly can stay how many ways? Ten ways. So all three of them can stay how many ways? Thousand ways. Fourth friend can be let to stay in how many ways? Ten ways. So all four of them can stay in how many ways? Ten thousand ways. And so this was the clear to all. Okay. Let's have a variation to this, which is one of the favorite types of chat. Four friends, ten hotels. They want to stay such that not all are staying together. Think over it. Then how many? 
Remember one thing, whenever the question says not all are same together, what will you do? You will find out the total number of ways and subtract from them the total number of ways in which they can stay together. What I said is not all is same together is as good as total minus all is same together. So, total is something which we already have for this data that is 10,000. Let's find out the number of ways in which they can stay together. In order to ensure the total number of ways in which they can stay together, let's do what? Let's handcuff all four of those friends. Therefore, making them one entity. Now, this one entity or a group of friends can either go to total 1 or total 2 or total 3 and so on up to total number 10. So, all in all, there are 10 ways in which these friends can stay together and that when subtracted from total number of ways in which they can stay will leave us with the number of ways in which not all are staying together. I think this question should be clear to us. Let's have a, another variation then. Let's say the question is no two are staying together. Think over it. No two are staying together. First friend in this case will stay in our ways. 10 ways, he has got 10 more things available. Second friend can stay in how many ways? He can stay in 9 ways. He cannot stay in the hotel in which one has already stayed. Except that he can stay anywhere in 9 ways. Corresponding to these 90 ways, these friends, the third friend can stay in how many ways? 8 ways. Eight ways. Similarly, fourth can stay in how many ways? 7 ways. This is what? 504. So, Total number of friends in this case can stay in 5040. Understand this that we are using multiplication pair. Understand this that each of the friends staying in any of the hotels is the sub job which is covered under the overall job which is making the four friends stay together. In such a case, we are multiplying. And so this one is clear to all. Okay, let's move on. With this, I stop. In the next session, I will be taking fundamental principle of addition and then onwards, we will be taking typical cash system. Thank you.